Earth energies, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what's next for you in love and romance. So this is a reading for those of you that are single or coupled up. It is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Otherwise, guys, let's give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. For those of you that are experiencing some sort of turbulency with a romantic energy, so it could be an altercation, a disagreement, a dispute, a disconnect, a discord, something funky going on between the two of you, there's going to be a, dis uh, a resolution here, okay? So if you feel like you're going through something, okay, and if you feel like this is creating a separation or a division, I feel like you are going to come to a res resolution. You are. You will. It may not seem like it now. It may feel like you might never forgive this person or you'll never get over this. You will. Okay? Just be patient. Be patient because I feel like there's someone here who's coming back and wanting to fix things. They may have pulled away from you now or you may have pulled away from them. And I, that I feel like is purely in an effort to give themselves some mental space to do some thinking. To do some, you know, processing um, their thoughts, their internal thoughts here and their feelings. But I do feel like someone is coming back. And them coming back is going to be an indication of their commitment to you. And their commitment to try and making, to making this work. Okay, so be patient with the situation. If it does feel like, you know, it's a bit chaotic. A lot of things up in the air. There's a lot of uncertainty. Or there's this, you know, disagreement or uh, dispute between the two of you. you. You guys will come to a resolution. You will come to some sort of... You'll see eye to eye again, okay? For others of you, if you're in an energy... If you're, sorry, in a connection in which you feel as though you constantly have to fight for your attention, for their attention. Or you constantly feel like, you know, you have to prove yourself. Or you feel like you're not worthy of their attention. If you feel that way, then that might be a message to you to start setting up some more healthy and rigid boundaries, okay? Because the problem with not having boundaries, especially healthy boundaries, is that people start walking all over you. And we don't want that to happen. And if you are experiencing feeling that type of way, maybe it's a reflection of your loose boundaries here, okay? Maybe you need to tighten those boundaries here. Okay, let them know what you tolerate and what you won't tolerate. That's important. So that's a message for some of you. For others of you, that competition that I'm seeing connecting, connected to you. Okay, some of you, I feel like you're, you're interested in someone in a connecting romantic energy, but there's competition around you and this person. It feels like they might leave their competition to pursue you. Or they might leave a third party situation, drop that in order to pursue you. Okay, or they might, you know, sort of phase out whoever these energies are competing for their attention and they'll pursue you in the end. They choose you in the end, basically. Or if you do have, you know, if you're in a position where you've got two or even more different, um, two or more uh, lovers to choose from, you're going to make a decision. But don't rush making this decision because I do feel like there's out of the you know two or three here that are connected to you, one feels like they're really committed to making this work. And it's the one, let me tell you, it's the one that's been with you for quite some time. It's the one that you friend zoned. It's the one that you, you know they've always tolerated. Um, the inconsistencies and they've put up everything and they've always they've put up with everything and they've been there for you and they have put up everything I feel like over time they really proved to you and you might have not been fully aware of it but they really proved to you that they do care about you and they do care about you know your connection or even your friendship here so when making your decision choose wisely here I'm also saying that be patient because I feel like there's so much here that's happening for you in terms of love and romance, but it's happening slowly, okay? It's happening slowly. 
um, some connections do feel like they're, it's a slow burn, but do be patient because I feel like it takes, there's a particular energy here in which I feel like this person has so much potential, but it, it takes this person a while to open up. So please be patient because they'll be worth it. Trust me, this individual will be worth it in the end. He or she is worth that weight. They are that, you know, reward here. I'm also seeing some sort of incoming emotional message here, which I feel like is going to pleasantly surprise you, perhaps even sweep you off your feet. It could come from a, uh, like it could come from a crush, a secret admirer. It could be coming in for you, or you could be the one that's delivering it. So if it comes for you, you're the one that's pleasantly surprised, and it's a good kind of surprise. If you're the one that's delivering this message, then you're going to pleasantly surprise them with what you say or with a romantic gesture of some sort. I see a romantic message for you guys, followed by a sweet gesture here. Okay, so don't push this individual away. While it's important to have healthy boundaries, okay, do not push someone away because I feel like someone here has pure intentions for you. I do feel like there is someone here who's really crushing on you or someone here who's putting you on a pedestal here, someone who's really in awe of you and maybe the reason why they haven't come forward before is because they're scared, okay, and their energy has always given off this air of resistance because they may have felt that you were out of their league or you were too good for them or, you know, they weren't worthy of your time, your energy, or maybe that's how you felt. Be careful in putting anyone or anything on a pedestal for that matter, because in doing so, you, you're creating a, uh, a bound, like a separation between you and that energy here. That's not good. So yeah, a, a pleasant romantic message. Okay, it could come in the form of an, um, a text message. This person might deliver this message to you in person where you'll be able to gauge their body language and how they use it. They might also deliver to you like over the phone here. But this is going to catch you by surprise. It is because you won't expect it. They might, they might, I feel like they've kind of been building up to this moment. They've been kind of wanting to share this with you for quite some time, but they've been looking for the right moment. But finally, I feel like they summon the strength to do so. They're just going to rip it off like a band-aid. So someone, he might open up and tell you how he or she has feelings for you, how they're really attracted to you, how they want to, you know, build on a connection here, or that they may even love you. Something they say is going to even take your breath away, sweep you off your feet here. But I also feel like, look, it could be two very different people as well. Someone is coming in, a younger energy comes in with a romantic, uh, with romantic news, and you might have another energy here. Okay, because we, we did have some competition here with the Five of Wands, right? And another energy comes in with a romantic gesture, a sweet gesture of some sort. Both are very, both come from pure intentions, okay? Both want, they feel something for you and they want to share that with you. Um, you're going to have a tough choice to make. You're going to have a tough choice because they're both crushing on you, I feel. It could be the same energy as well, though. Because we do have the suit of cups. It could be that you have someone who opens up and tells you how he or she feels. And then they follow up with a sweet gesture. So they might tell you that, you know, they're crushing on you. They might ask you out. And they might take you on a date that you'll never forget. They might, you know, um, take you to some place very special. Do something very special. It feels like this is something that, to me, I get taking your breath away or sweeping you off your feet that's the kind of energies that i'm picking up here this is a slow burn connection so give it time give it time great things take time don't rush this enjoy the moment enjoy getting to know them they do wear some heavy emotional armor so even the fact that this person has come forward i feel like this person may have been crushing on you for quite some time or they've had feelings for you for a while now but it's taken them a lot of strength and courage and bravery to finally come forward here so be patient because something that i feel like sometimes you know how they say a slow burning connection outlasts fireworks any day sometimes you know if things start really hot and heavy they tend to fizzle out very quickly whereas there's this gradual um incline there's this gradual build up here to some very beautiful things with this energy
okay I feel like this is an energy this person feels very romantic and very charming and I feel like this is I'm getting a very creative or artistic side to this energy so I don't know if this is an artist of some sort or an aspiring artist or a writer I feel like this is someone who's going to be very romantic like they'll go out of their way to make you feel special they could be writing poetry for you about you they could really put a lot of thought into you know their your like date nights here they'll give you a lot of their time their energy and their attention here and even if it is like uh, two very different individuals to me it feels like they share the similarity of um, being like very poetic or being very romantic here you're going to be at I feel like it's you having to decide and you're at this advantageous position where you get to choose between these two lovers because they're both coming in and vying for your attention you know you've got people competing for your attention here or if it's if the energies are in reverse here right and if you're the one that's delivering this romantic news or message and you're the one that's you know um, carrying out this sweet romantic gesture here then I feel like that's what's really going to put you above your competition that's what's really going to make you stand out because there's something very sweet and very thoughtful and very unique in the way that you approach this person and the way that you make them feel here and that's how I feel like how you you'll emerge victorious Alrighty guys, these are your messages. So thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.